What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, more. And today I'm going to be showing you and talking about these 8 new limited edition radio station t-shirts that are currently not available for purchase and do not seem to be obtainable in any legit way, but some players have reportedly found them available to wear in GTA Online. I'm going to be going over what seems to be the main way people are obtaining these shirts, what these shirts look like, and why they could possibly become available in a future music DLC. The first time I saw these t-shirts was in a GTA 5 reddit post which you can find in the description below where the poster questions how they got these shirts. The description of these shirts reads limited edition unlocked as part of an event which is odd because there have been no events so far to unlock these items meaning something was a bit off or it was a glitch. Reading through it doesn't seem like anyone has a real answer but with a bit more sleuthing and research I was able to find out that most of the people with these shirts have obtained them accidentally after doing a gender swap glitch several times. Oddly enough doing this glitch made these special limited edition radio t-shirts available to them. There are a total of 8 of these limited edition radio t-shirts with only 7 that seem to be obtainable at a time. Oddly enough, the radio stations featured on these shirts are not found in GTA 5, they're found in previous games such as GTA San Andreas, GTA Vice City, and even GTA 3. Starting from the top, we have the white FIFA 105 t-shirt which was a GTA Vice City radio station featuring post-disco, boogie, R&B, and soul music. Second, there is a black Emotion 98.3 shirt. The Emotion 98.3 radio station is also in GTA Vice City, but features power ballad and rock music. Here we have the Flash FM shirt, which is definitely one of my favorite out of these shirts, popping out with a bright yellow logo on a black shirt. The Flash FM radio station is also from Vice City, and it played pop, dance pop, new wave, and rock music. Next up we have the K-Dust shirt. The K-Dust, known as the Dust radio station, was in GTA San Andreas and played classic rock, pop rock, hard rock, and new wave music. Here we have the K-Jazz shirt, which was in GTA 3 and San Andreas. It featured Jamaican and reggae music. At number 6, we have the Bounce FM shirt. Bounce FM was a radio station in GTA San Andreas that played funk, R&B, soul, and disco music. For lucky number 7, we have the awesome looking K-Rose t-shirt. K-Rose was a radio station in GTA San Andreas that played classic country. This shirt and the next one seem to swap depending on the player, but it only seems like you could have one or the other. Finally, we have the Base 5 shirt, which is pretty awesome looking. Unlike the other shirts, Base 5 is a clothing brand found in GTA San Andreas. Now after seeing all of these shirts, you'll notice that there is a reoccurring theme of previous games. That and the fact that the description of these shirts describes them as limited time from an event leads me to believe that there will possibly be a DLC, probably a paid DLC, in the near future featuring previous radio stations and licensed music from older games, particularly those songs from the radio stations found on these shirts. Then again, it could be brand new music coming to the existing radio stations and those t-shirts are just a throwback to previous games. If you didn't know, Rockstar had updated the score in GTA 5 with the highlight update and has also been featuring artists in GTA 5 on the Rockstar Newswire very frequently so it doesn't seem that far-fetched to me. There's also the possibility that this could be absolutely nothing and these were just left over from something they were trying out but it doesn't really seem that way because Rockstar usually uses everything they put in. What I want to know is out of these eight special t-shirts which one is your favorite? Also what do you think of these shirts? Do you think Rockstar will release a music DLC in the near future or are the shirts part of another unrelated event that Rockstar will host in the future? Be sure to leave a comment below. As always, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to press that like button and also be sure to subscribe for more daily top-notch GTA 5 videos. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash typicalgamer where I post interesting stuff daily that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.